I'm here today at Warrington to interview George Sampson. Now you might remember George from Britain's Got Talent. He was the winner in 2008. Now got his own dance studio here in Warrington. So we're going to go and have a sneak peek here inside and have a chat with George and just see what tips he can give some of you young dancers today. So George, uh, just talk to us about your early days. You've been dancing from a very young age, about six years old. So talk to us what inspired you to dance in the first place. Um, yeah, I was six years old and at my local high school, Birchwood, um, my brother did a breakdance class there every Tuesday and I went to watch a show um, and I seen this guy come on stage and he did a backflip and I was sat in the audience with my mum and my sister and I just I said to my mum then I said that's what I want to do that's exactly where I want to go um, I then started going to his classes I took classes then for five years straight all over the northwest I went to Liverpool Manchester um, I went to every single class that was known around I went to picked up the style left I went to a new one um, developed my own style and then, yeah, just I started busking and then I entered Britain's Got Talent and from then it's just, everything's gone yeah. crazy. It's yes, so, obviously, you won Britain's Got Talent in 2008, didn't you? What, what did that feel like for you when you won? It was just life-changing, it really was. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm still there now, I'm, I'm being interviewed at, in my own place and I, yeah, I wouldn't have had that without the Britain's Got Talent. It's, um, it's been a complete and utter life-changer. Uh, and all in one night as well, that's... Mm -hmm. The great thing was about it was... It was one night I was living in Birchwood and I was doing my own thing. I was still living in Birchwood, but I was doing my own thing. I was at school and then the next night I was on the front of all these papers and I was dancing in front of royalty and things. And it was just, it was amazing. Completely and utterly amazing. Amazing feeling. Yeah. And obviously after Britain's Got Talent, you went on and you'd done a DVD, didn't you? And you'd done some tutorials and things and obviously it was all about your career yeah. on the DVD. Is that where you, you sort of went into the teaching? Because now you've got your own studio. Kind of. I mean, the DVD was, um, it was an idea that, Simon Carl wanted me to do um, because singers were so used to winning these shows they never had a dancer winning this show before um, and they could have albums and singles and things come out we never had that opportunity as dancers to do anything like that so we had this idea to make like this DVD which could be entered into the music DVD charts um, did really well we went to number one for a couple of weeks we got Christmas number one on music DVD and they, they had this idea to put a segment in where I would teach people and I mean even before Britain's Got Talent, when I was 13, I taught dance at, uh, in Manchester, and I was the youngest teacher in the North West. Um, I love teaching, I do, I love, yeah. I love making people do what I can do, I love that, I love that they can do what I can do, and I love the fact that I got in there, it's a really proud feeling, mm -hmm. um, especially when they're younger as well, when kids are doing it, it's, it's an amazing feeling, and that's why I wanted to open this place. And I always had my eye on an archway under a, a train station, that's what I always wanted. Um, and then Warrington was just a bonus. The fact that it opened up in my hometown was mm -hmm. exactly what I wanted. Great stuff. So just going on to obviously your acting career. Now you've done street dance yes. and street dance too, haven't you? That's in yes. cinemas now. Yes. What was it like filming that? Oh, yeah, amazing. I mean, the street dance was my first feature film, yeah. and that was incredible just to be a part of it. The second one, the second one was the greatest thing I've ever done ever. I mean, we toured on. It was basically just a tour of Europe with the nicest guys touring, dancing, doing what you love doing, and acting, and, and just getting paid for it. Just, it was just the greatest thing ever. I just felt like a four-year-old boy on holiday. It was amazing. Now then, what dance tips would you give to youngsters? If you could say in a few words some tips, what would you give? I'd just say that don't look at other dancers and feel that they're better than you because nobody's better than you. People are different. That's the only way I would say it. It's the same with singers, dramas, actors, everything. It's People aren't better than you. They're just different to you. They dance differently to you. They don't mm -hmm. dance better than you, so... Learn while you can. Don't get stuck to one style. Learn everything that you can. And try not to become a master of one skill. One master, you know, there's popping, locking, break dance, street dance. Don't try and do one and become the best at it because there's no such thing as the best. Um, have someone there, have someone where it be. For me, it was my mom. Um, somebody to keep you grounded. Mm -hmm. that's, that's exactly what you want to push you. Um, because it's so easy to give up. When I was 14, before I did Britain's Got Talent, I was at a limit where my friends were doing different things. They were all kind of just hanging about Xboxes and things like that. And to be fair, that was so tempting for me to just go, oh, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop, I'm just gonna get into what they're doing. But my mum was there to go, no, you're good at this, you're gonna do this, and I'm not gonna let you stop to do this. Um, and that's why I'm where I am now, um, with my mum completely. So I'd just say, just even if it's a friend or you don't even know the person, just find someone that's gonna make you push you even harder, a dance teacher or anyone, um, because moral support is, is so beneficial.